Hello, Vego. Vego, welcome to your reading. Vego, we're going to be diving into this reading to see the messages that you need to know right now. So first of all, we're wanting to ask our cards what is currently getting in the way. Okay, what are the obstacles that are there? So let's have a look to see what messages that are coming up for you. So the divine is saying that, listen, listen well, Virgo. Okay, everything that you're currently praying for, the abundance, the success, the prosperity is already there. It's already waiting for you. It's already been granted. So we asked, well, what is getting in the way? The divine is saying, Virgo, what is currently getting in the way is faith. Let me elaborate. You know the saying that faith without works is dead, right? So the divine is saying that for some of you, you know exactly what it is that you want. But there's just this feeling where you are not really walking down the road to receive, to get to where you are now living in the home. You have the lover, you have whatever it is that you're currently praying for. The divine is saying that for some of you, you are currently really stuck in your struggle. And the divine is saying it is important for you to start, Virgo, to start going on a journey, at least in your mind, utilizing and using your imagination. Because your imagination, literally the word itself spells, I am a genie. So your mind is a genie asking you, what do you want? And how do you get what you want? By using your imagination to move in to the home, to have the experience that you want in your mind. You're already there. You're using your spiritual body to be here, playing in the water, smelling the flowers, really enjoying the experience. And the more you do this, your body will eventually follow because your mind has already been used to being here. It is nothing so out of reach. So the divine is saying to you, what is currently getting in the way is that some of you, you are like trying to force your manifestations to happen. And the divine is saying, Virgo, stop. You don't need to force anything. Rather, you need to go with the ebb and flow to get to your manifestations, right? You just need to lean in and relax and to go on a journey. And in doing so, the abundance, the success, the prosperity will just happen as if by magic, because life is magical. Ask your genie, ask your imagination to start engaging in some make-believe until you start believing. When you start truly believing you start seeing that reality will start shifting and changing until you jump into the timeline where you are just experiencing life at your highest possible fantasy, right? So let's get that imagination activated, okay? Let's just really enjoy maybe before you go to sleep at night, all right? Just when you're closing your eyes, the last thing that you do is... Just imagine experiencing whatever it is that you want. How does the home look like? What is the furniture? What is the color of the chairs, the flooring? What does it look like? Really go on a tour of your home. If it's a lover that you want, you're holding hands, you're really experiencing the journey, you're laughing, you're, you're doing all the stuff that lovers do. And when it happens, like I said, it will just feel like... Of course, it's normal because you've already experienced it in your mind a million times. So what we're going to do next, we're going to be looking at any other advices that the divine is wanting to give you, anything else that the divine is wanting to bring to your attention. So the divine is saying that Virgo, all right, fantasy, imagination, we're really engaging in that. But there's just something else that you need to remember, okay? The divine is saying that for some of you, you need to step into that energy of self-acceptance. 
For some of you, you're really mean to yourselves. You kick yourself, you put yourself down, you look at all the mistakes that you made and you're just like so disappointed. The divine is saying, why are you destroying yourself? That energy, it doesn't serve anyone. All it does is just tears your confidence apart. And so the divine is saying, have some compassion for yourself. Fill your cup up first, okay? Forgive yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Be loving with yourself. Be present with yourself, with all your mistakes and everything that you perceive that you made along the way. Make peace with that. Because believe me, once you arrive here, and you're enjoying the success, the abundance, the prosperity, the lover, the whatever. You have no time to allow some unresolved things to start bubbling up and coming up and destroying what you have now created. And this is why the divine is advising you to step into the energy of looking at anything that needs your attention Okay, so that you can nurture yourself, you can forgive yourself, you can make peace with the past. Because if you don't make peace with the past, the past will eventually catch up with you and try and destroy everything that you have created for yourself. So take some time, okay, and just allow yourself to see whatever it is that needs your attention and give it the attention that it needs so that finally some doors can be closed. And if anything, what I've been told to tell you, you're actually going to see that when you step into the energy of self-acceptance, when you have compassion and forgiveness for yourself, when you're gentle for your, with yourself, when you're filling your own cup, you're actually going to see that your manifestations become a reality a lot easier and a lot faster. So take this advice seriously and take it on board. Okay, so next, let's get the next card and see what else is coming up. So let's have a look to see. Let me think what question to ask. All right, let's see any unexpected obstacles, any challenges that we need to know, fears. What, what, what do we need to be aware of? Okay, any patterns? that we need to pay attention to, all right? Like beliefs that we need to release, that type of thing. So let's just ground the energies for a moment. All right, so. Mm -hmm. So first things first, the thing that I see, all right, is our word receptivity the divine is saying that for some of you you literally are not able to receive okay the obstacles that you need to be aware of is the inability to receive what is rightly yours to literally receive this light right like it's like the golden bricks that are here shining so bright your dreams okay are saying hey walk into the portal let's go in but for some reason there is just this feeling of not being able to receive blessings are you able to receive compliments may i ask you that when someone says something nice about you does it feel uncomfortable are you able to compliment yourself? Are you able to praise yourself? Are you able to receive? Whether it's coming from someone else or from yourself. Remember we said that our self-acceptance card was playing a major role in unlocking the prosperity that is waiting for you. Well, the divine is saying that for some of you, this is what is stopping you from being able to receive. Okay, once you've done what we spoke about already, you are now putting yourself in the right frame of mind that will allow you to receive the blessings that I hear. And for some of you, the divine is saying that in your dreams, you will now start receiving some information, maybe even receiving the winning numbers to the lottery, 
maybe receiving some important information that allows the prosperity card to get activated really, really fast. It's as if literally like you quantum leap, you time jump. It will literally will not make sense. One minute you're here, maybe worrying about paying your bills, hating your job. And then a couple of days later, everything that you've wanted has just become a reality. So it is time to move and to shift into a new reality, literally walking through that portal in your dreams to arrive to your prosperity, to your dreams becoming a reality. So the divine is saying that you're going to be receiving visions, maybe through your dreams, maybe epiphanies, aha moments, clarity is just going to be coming in. Receive them, understand them using your intuition to decipher what it is that you are being told to do and how to do it and when to be. And you're going to be finding yourself at the right place at the right time for magic to start unfolding in your life. Literally, it's as if you just enter a portal and lucky breaks, things just start to happen one after the other after the other, which strengthens your faith. And when your faith gets stronger, even more bigger blessings unfold for you. So Virgo, wow, lucky you, right? So this is the message that the divine wanted to give to you this week. I wish you well in your journey of self-acceptance, in your journey of being able to open up your, your hands and receive what is rightly yours and to then be able to enter that portal that leads you to the prosperity that is waiting for your arrival. So if you found value in this reading, please do give this video a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe hit that notification bell. And for those of you who are doing our quantum leap ritual, right, let's go and do some magic now. Hello, magician. This is the section of the reading where we are remembering that we are the magicians and the architects of our lives. This is the very same manifestation ritual that I used in 2023 and it only took me a couple of weeks to become a multimillionaire. I wanted to share this ritual with you because I want that by 2025, we have thousands of people who have manifested their dreams. Now, we are going to be taking this opportunity to work together as a community, wishing each other well. On every reading, please do remember to bring a full glass of water and your petition. You could write what you want to leave behind and on the other side, have an empty glass with a petition of what you want to become a reality. We have our cards on the table and I use these cards just as a visualization to help me manifest. So I had this star card and the star card is all about your wishes coming true. And the next card that I had was the eight of wands, encouraging my wishes to come true quickly, swiftly, fast. And then I had the magician card, which was a reminder to me that I am the magician. I am the alchemist and I am the architect of my life. So these are cards that I just chose to work with, but you don't have to do that. You can just keep it simple and to the point. So are you ready to take part in this ritual? So bring your two glasses, one empty and one full of water. The one with water, just remember to write what it is that you want to leave behind because you are going to be quantum leaping into what it is that you want. So on the empty glass of water, write what it is that you are seeing yourself enjoying. If you're wishing to win the lottery, just say with gratitude divine, I am so thankful that I have won the lottery. Infuse this type of energy, the energies of the nine of cups. Feel yourself like it's already done. 
bring this vibe, this energy when you are writing your petition like it is already a reality. Think of yourself how you're going to feel when you've won the lottery. So let's take a moment to just say a prayer to the divine with words of gratitude. Divine, thank you so much for everything that I already have in my life. Thank you for all the blessings that I have. Divine, I am the luckiest person alive. Going forward, I have some wishes that I want to make. I see myself living the life of my dreams. I see myself quantum leaping to a new timeline divine where I have won the lottery, where I am a multimillionaire, where I am living the life of my dreams, where I am healthy, where I am loved, where manifestations just happen so easily and quickly for me. And of course, for the good of all involved, and harm to none. Ashe. Can you feel that vibration? Can you feel the smile on my face as I'm seeing myself living the life of my dreams as the energies of the Nine of Cups? And this is what you want to infuse in your water so that you can quantum leap into the new timeline. So what we're going to do next, we are going to now bring into physical reality the action of quantum leaping. Let's get ready to quantum leap into the new timeline. In, breathe in and feel yourself feeling like this. And take your water and see yourself jumping over into the new timeline. And as you are pouring the water into the next cup, into that empty vessel, see yourself feel the new reality becoming a manifestation into the tangible reality. Just feel and infuse this new quantum leap, infuse this new timeline with so much joy, with so much gratitude, with so much love. Thank you, divine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now take that cup of water and drink it because now this is the new reality. This is the new timeline and the action of drinking the water is that water is going to become you, is going to become a part of you and water holds memory. So we are drinking this water, holding the memory of the feeling of the energies of the Nine of Cups. We've really infused the joy. We've really infused this water with the gratitude. We have infused the love, the excitement and everything that we want as if it's already happened. So take a glass. Cheers. Enjoy the new timeline that is now becoming a part of you. <laughs> and so it is for the good of all and harm to none. Enjoy your new reality and remember to go in the comment section below and comment on eight people's manifestation because remember by giving you open up your hands to receiving a shade.